I be talking about Jesus. They don't know who they talking about because they think he's white too. Right. You know? They don't. What does Christ look like, Rashad? Well, you're going to refer to the video. No, I'm asking you what does he look like. Well, what does he look like? Tell us in the Greek. That's a good statement. Tell us in the Greek. All right. Um. Five. Yes, you got a question? Yeah. What you got? Uh, no. Right. What is your question? Back up. Be good. No, no, you stay back. My name is Rajan. Okay, Rajan. All right, Rajan Scott Abraham. Go ahead. You're the son of man. So you are Jesus Christ. Is what you're saying? Are you Jesus Christ? No. Okay. Abraham, a great, great grandson. Okay, we all uh, we all are the lineage of Abraham. I stayed there for four years. Okay. So did you keep the commandments? Do you keep the commandments? Okay. Where's your fringes that you don't now? It, it ain't ain't not you. Just you don't know nothing about them yet. All right. How many commandments are there? All praises. Over 600 commandments. So how do you expect us to back them and keep all? All praises. Christ. Christ summed all of them up in two. Love God with all your heart and love your neighbor like you would love yourself. Because if I would, if I, if I love you like I love me, would I want somebody? You want somebody to rob you? So should you rob anybody? You want somebody to kill you? Should you kill anybody? What about would you want somebody to rape you? Would you say that mean you ain't gonna rape nobody? What about being a drug dealer? Would you want somebody to sell drugs to you to kill you? So then you wouldn't. But so that is how you're supposed to treat your neighbor. Those are all laws. Right. What about sleep with your wife? Would you want somebody to do that to you? So then you wouldn't commit adultery with nobody else's. That is how you love your neighbor. All of those are laws I just named. What about keeping a Sabbath day like today? Keeping it holy, how? See how everybody's shopping and buying stuff? You wouldn't do so if you love God. So those two commandments are a summary of all of them. That is how you get the kingdom of heaven. It is a summary. But if you don't know how to do either one of those two, you can't serve God. Right. You don't love him. Right. Let's get that. Psalms 5 and 5. Watch this. Psalms chapter 5, verse 5. Yeah. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. So the foolish man or woman cannot stand in front of God. Your foolish man or woman ain't getting the kingdom of heaven. Right. They're not getting it. They cannot stand there. Go ahead. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Say God hates all workers of iniquity. Everybody that sins, God hate them. Right. So for our people being Israelites to go against God, God hates us when we do so. Not right. just the sin, he hates us too. So for us to walk around and say, I can do what I want to do. Like my man Rashad, he's been confused to thinking that it's all about just the translation. If you're not going to keep the commandments even when you hear them. Everybody knows thou shall not kill. Right. Everybody knows keep the Sabbath day holy, but what they don't know is in order to do so, you can't shop today. Right. You can't work today. Right. You can't cook today. Right. You have to congregate with your people that keep the commandments today. Exactly. If you don't do those, you're not keeping the Sabbath day holy. Right. If you turn around and go on Sunday and don't even acknowledge the Sabbath day, which is the seventh day of the week, not the first, then our people worship Jupiter and Tammuz and all of them that you mentioned. Right. Yeah, we know. That's why I let you speak, because you think we don't know this stuff. Bring it out. You didn't even say Tammuz. We knew that. Right. We already know where it originated from, but it's because our people have been deceived. You understand that, brother? I do. So what must you do? Read. Keep the commandments and read to learn. Yeah. Because when you read, my let's get that in Timothy's, uh, uh, 2 and 16. That's what I want. I want the one that see. Let's, let's read this to you about reading. Timothy's 2 and 16, I believe. I don't know if it's first or second. It's about making a man perfect. Hey, don't worry about that, man. Let's get it. Don't worry about that. Let's get it. Here we go. No, no, no. Not to, uh, yeah, here we go. Read that. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 13. Bring it up. So like, come, give attendance to reading, mm -hmm. to exhortation, to doctrine. So it says, until Christ come, give attendance to reading, to doctrine. Is that what I want? Is it? Okay. Is it three? Go ahead. Second Timothy chapter three, verse 16. Go ahead. All scripture is given by inspiration of God uh -huh. and is profitable for doctrine. Uh -huh. So all the scriptures. So my brother, when you said you got to read, 
my brother that's sitting on the ground, when he mentioned he got to read, it said all scriptures, all of it, the whole Bible is good for doctrine. And doctrine is to teach us how to live. Good doctrine teaches us how to live, Rashad, not how to die. Versus Christianity and all these false doctrines where you just got to say the name and do nothing else or speak this language or that language and you don't do what God say. All of that is teaching you how to die. Right. That is all a distraction to keep you away from the real issues that we got. Right. We don't do what God said. Right. That's the real problem with us. We don't keep the commandments. Go ahead. Right. For reproof. Uh -huh. It is to correct us. That's what reproof means. The commandments, the laws and the scriptures will fix us. Right. Now ain't gonna be no baby daddies and baby mamas because we know we can't have sex before marriage. Right. We must get married. Now we're not gonna sit up here and let our children be dressed up in all half naked clothes on the darn step team marching down the street in a parade. Because we out. can't prostitute our daughters out to let other men look at our daughters like pieces of meat. Right. Or our men being homosexual sleeping around with another man. We know we cannot do that. Because right. the scripture's gonna correct us not to do so. So if we love God, we'll do what it say. Go ahead. For correction, for instruction in righteousness. Instruction in righteousness. So if we want to say we are righteous people, the only way we become righteous is do what the scriptures say, not what we want to do. Go ahead. That the man of God may be perfect. That man of God will become what? Perfect. That is how we become perfect. That brother said, how do you expect us to keep all those? Do what the scriptures say. Yeah, right. Do what the scriptures say. Because Christ said it in Matthew in the last and fifth and last verse. He expects us to be perfect. You go, you ain't gotta go there. That's what it says. So we there's nothing else being said different here of what Paul is writing to Timothy. Go ahead. Thoroughly furnished uh -huh. unto all good works. And that's how we're gonna do all the good works, Rashad. So the good works ain't worried about, oh, well, I'm just gonna, gonna go out here and speak a language I don't know and worry about the name of Christ when he gave us multiple names. Most of the time, y'all, our people talking about God has no clue what they talking about. Our people talking about Jesus, they don't know who they talking about because they think he white too. Right. Right they don't, what does Christ look like, Rashad? Well, you're going to refer to the video. No, I'm asking you, what does he look like? Well, what does he look like? Tell us in the Greek. That's a good statement. Tell us in the Greek. All right. Christ, I don't know. He looked like a Hebrew man. He was, it said he, what did, he, he, did not, look like? he did not have handsome features. No, what did he? No, I, I get that. But if you've seen him today, yeah. what would you call him? I All praises. All praises to the Mount, to the Most High. So you're saying that Christ is a so-called black man, then? Am I right? All praises. Now, not just a man of color. A man of color that could be Japanese too. Right. That could be Arabs too. If he was on Earth today, would he be like me and you? Okay. All praise to the Most High. So then, so if our people know that, why do they pray to Jesus but got a white image in their church and in their house? Bring it out. I can't tell you why they do. That's because all that, them knowing the name and all that stuff don't matter because they lies. They follow in all these lies and are being distracted from the truth because right. they don't read. Just like you, you're only focused about, well, the translation. But in both translations, it tells you to keep the commandments. And the reason I focus so hard on the Greek is because when the direct translation comes into play, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that are okay, taken out. Okay, I got a question then. Like in the, the Greek the Bible, what is the truth? Because you said you follow truth. In that Bible, in the Greek Bible, what is the truth? In the Bible? Yeah, what's the truth? All right. You see how you can't, you're answering, give me a scripture that says that. No, 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 I want it where it tells you what the truth is. There is a scripture in the Bible that tells you what the truth is. All praises, Psalms 119. That is because we actually study what the Bible says and means. study the Bible, I just believe have been misled. Okay, so so what is not true? That I'll say that, what is not true that we've read out of the Bible? Since you said we've been led on things that are not true. What have I said that is wrong in the Bible? One, the King James Version is the best version we have. Okay, give me a better one. The, the separate. You're reading it in English and then trying to go back it's, to the Greek. I didn't even mention Greek. So you I don't understand that version you yourself. Know what the separate right. Is. What does it mean? What does it say? The separate is just the book of the Hebrew translation. 
Okay, so it's just the Old Testament. So it's just the Old Testament then. So watch this. So listen, listen. Speak that language to me. Teach it. I can't teach you a language. So. Why do you treat me like I'm an idiot? Because I use a translation that is you know. No, that is, but no, I'm not treating you like an idiot. What I'm trying to let you see is your language. The language that you speak is English, bro. So whenever you say all these yes. other languages matter, but you're not doing what God said, yes. you're on the verge of death and don't know it. Right. And I'm trying to wake you up to that, to where these brothers are reading it out of the Bible. You want to talk about doing what God said? God said to be humble. Show me some humility. Okay, what is being know? humble according to God? Being humble is, do you know everything? Being, no, I don't. Being humble is, are you always correct? No. Being humble is, is everything no, you know No, are right? you correct today? So why have you not Watch opened this. your mind to Let's the possibility see if the, is the Bible, is the Bible always wrong. correct? Yes, it's, the Bible is all praise. Watch, Watch this. Watch this. Psalm chapter 119, verse 142. If the Bible is correct, watch this. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. Thy law is the one. Thy law is the truth. So what's the truth what's according to the Bible? I, I didn't make that up when well, we just read it. So yeah. what is the truth the according to the Bible? Book of, the Bible is the book of righteousness. And read it again. Is the truth. Okay, you said what's the truth? By law is the truth. The law. By the, the law. The law. The Bible. Read the scripture. Read it again. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Thy law. So the laws in the Bible is the truth. It's speaking of the Bible. Okay, so then, is the truth in the Bible? Yes. Is God's will in the Bible? Yes. What is that? What's the will of God? If a man does the will of God, he should... Remember it said, that's the only way you get into the kingdom of heaven. All right, so let's get that. Psalms 40 and 8. Psalm chapter 40, verse 8. I delight to do thy will, oh my God. Uh -huh. Now it's going to tell you what the will is. Yea, thy law is within my heart. So in order for a person... To do the will of God, my brother on the ground, what do we have to do? In order for us to do the will of God, what do we got to do? Follow what? Follow the laws of God. Does the Bible always take, talk literally? Well, give me one where it's not. Right now, it literally just said your law is on is, my heart. Yeah. So the, the law is not literally going to be on Where is your heart? It's about the heart. Watch, where is your heart? According to the Bible. Where See, where is your heart according to the Bible? Because it says my heart, my heart, your heart, your heart, all through the Bible. Where is your heart in the Bible? All praises. Mark chapter 7, verse 21. Uh -huh. Bring it out. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Rashad, where do you where do your thoughts come from? Thoughts. Heart? My brain? Your brain. So what's the heart according to God? Your mind. Your mind. So the laws of that's God will be in your said. read it again. That's, that's what I said. Watch. For from within, yes. out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. So that's from our exactly heart proceeds evil thoughts. So out of the mind come our thoughts. Yes. Watch this. Adultery. Where does adultery start? Does it start in your chest or up here in your brain? It starts in your mind. So that is your heart according to God. Go ahead. For the Fornication. You want to go sleep around and not be married. Where does that start? You have to think if, about if it to go do honest, it. It does start in your heart. No, it starts Desire in your heart. is from your heart. It's from your mind, bro. Desire? That only pumps blood. That ain't got no desire in your chest. It's not literal. It's literally <laughs> figurative <laughs> language. Murder! If you want to kill someone, don't you have to think about it? You, know, the, the, the you got to feel oh. something first. You don't just want to kill somebody. Something makes you kill somebody, So you're right? saying that the chest is where the feeling comes from? The heart. <laughs> oh, you, you ever heard God. of that? You ever heard you of that You can't reference? make this stuff up, boss. I love you from I'm the bottom trying, of my bro. heart. You ever <laughs> heard that saying before? Yes. You can't say from the bottom that of is my what, heart. Now, the fact that he said, why do I talk to him like an idiot? And I'm not trying to. It's the fact that he's sounding like one God, that is bothering God, me. Get out. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. you
salvation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word.